Hi Pisces, this is our weekly reading guys, it's for June 4th through the 10th, June 4th through the 10th, I think that's right. Let's jump in, let's see who and what is coming your way. And guys, our uh, talisman or sickle this week is concealment. Uh, on my other channel, RZ Oracle, I've also done uh, weekly readings that incorporate more than love and relationship. If you're interested, you could check those videos out. But I go a little bit deeper on what the uh, talisman is for us this week. So, But it is about removing the mask, uh, being, feeling comfortable to reveal parts of ourselves, truer feelings, and that kind of thing. So, if you're interested, pop over there and look at that video. Uh, let's get your higher self, your spirit guides, and your guardians. Focus the energy on to who is coming towards you and what they're bringing towards you. Let's see what the energy is. It's from Pisces. Pisces. We've got one. Let me get the full shuffle here, though. Full moon in Capricorn. Full moon energy. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So we've got some emotions because y'all know with full moons, emotions will sometimes come to the surface uh, for us. I'm feeling it as gentle emotions though because it is the end of a tough cycle. Let's see what else is coming out. What else for my Pisces? What is it bringing towards me? Pisces pop. Expect a powerful change, a new moon eclipse. New moon eclipse. Ooh, the new moon eclipse, and guys, something new. Uh, something that we didn't think was going to work out. Mm -hmm. Something, you know, like I'm, we made a bad choice. I made a bad choice, something like that. And we're like, ah, we immediately feel like, oh, it was the wrong choice. Universe is moving something because it's eclipsing the newness of it to bring it back to make it more positive To where you would be saying oh, okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was a good choice That kind of, that kind of thing. Hopefully you're grasping what I'm saying it, br it brings in it shifts the energy of ma Making you think something new was not so great into oh, I can see the blessing in it. Yes Let's see what else is coming out for you this is for my Pisces. My Pisces. Bringing it home. Two energies is going really slow, Pisces. What's going on with y'all? Mm, there comes two. We're going to take them. Mm, get the deck out of the way. What do we got? Let's go on this one first. Capricorn again. Capricorn energy coming in for y'all. The practical, magical and ordinary stuff. The practicalness of things. Challenges. It will not be an easy path, but if you build discipline, you will achieve your goal. Discipline. And what else? Delicate Rose. Be willing to honestly say what you feel no matter how terrifying it may seem. The concealment, guys. No matter how terrifying it seems, speak in your authentic truth. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's on both of your parts. <laughs> yes. Let's come in. Let's get the tarot. Get it going. We can tap the person's energy that's bringing this energy and influence into my Pisces. Can you show me their energy, please? What energy are they entering in with? Uh, they are stressed to the max, guys. Yes. Nine of Swords, needless stress, anxiety. And a Nine of Cups over their wishes. Nines, 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 nines. Y'all know the nine energies are endings of things. Tens are you fixing the way something ends before you move on. So this person is, they definitely got some wish fulfillment, but they are stressing about it. Yes, let's see a little bit more. They're stressed out, hoping, praying for what? Ow! The Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. To be practical, to stick together, that kind of thing. Ow, they direct, they sort of know what they want, but they are having anxiety about it. Bring me more. 
Eight of Wands, they were definitely wanting to level up and they're wanting to talk. Uh, the talk may be long distance or not face to face to begin with. They feeling pressured also, feeling like they need to defend something or stand up, say something, no matter how terrifying it is. Let's get their thoughts on you. What are their thoughts about you right now? What are what is their thoughts on my Pisces pop right here? Seven of Cups. They think you're not decisive about what you want either. Mm -hmm. And you may be. They may feel like you're being or you are unrealistic about some things. Mm, that's their thoughts on, on you. Their feelings. Feelings. Eight of Swords. Mm. They see you as holding yourself back. Um, clarify for me. Am I, I want to make sure I'm hearing it right. Clarify for me on the Eight of Swords. High Priestess, yeah, you're... you're mm, she's the most... Totally. <laughs> this Eight of Swords, guys, they're, they, the way they feel is you, you don't listen to no one else. You don't allow others to sway you or influence you uh, when it comes to you making your decisions. And sometimes they're like, you're scary for them because you think outside the box. It's not that you're so much indecisive. It's that you can become oh, very, what do I want to say, visionary. You believe in the impossible. You believe in miracles where they don't. I don't know how else, but you believe in magic where they don't. And you seem to make that magic come to life because you don't follow anyone else's lead. And yeah, you do what you do. You trust yourself. And you don't need to ask... With that high priestess coming out, it's got you standing in the highest form of a being mysterious. Absolutely mysterious to this person. But it also has you not needing uh, other people to give you direction. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Uh, because you feel confident enough that you follow your intuition. Where they would be stressed out like, somebody show me the way. <laughs> what are you supposed to do here? That kind of thing. They would always be looking for advice outside of their self. Instead of trusting their self. You trust yourself. Let's see how they, what light they see you standing in. <clears throat> Page of Wands. Curiosity about life. A love of adventure. Uh, and yeah, sure, you might have a little bit of uh, uncertainty about things, but that doesn't stop you. You're not afraid of venturing out into the unknown. They like this about you. They admire that about you. Actions they're taking towards you this week. Ooh, a page of pentacles. A page of pentacles is they're testing the water to get clear on something. They also, I'm, I'm seeing them as the little poodle. They want to impress you. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let's see what else. A queen of swords. They're trying to be logical here. Do things with their head and not be influenced by emotions. But clarify a little bit more on that queen of swords. I feel a double fold meaning on it. That does not want to let go of me. Queen of Pentacles, guys, guys, they trying their best. They want to impress. Do you not find me cute? <laughs> that kind of thing. Because they feel like you're a little bit closed off, emotionally disconnected from them. You know, Libra Queen can be cold sometimes. Uh, but I'll say that you're, you, this is bringing in more of the magic. Magic. I don't know how else to put it. Our Capricorn Queen... Uh, she brings in magic, a sense of ordinary magic of you make everything appear to be so stress-free, so easy, and non-scary. You're very different from them. They want your attention. They definitely want your attention, but they're not quite sure how to impress you. It's like, let me be the cute little poodle that you're like, oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see some more here. Let's see some more of their action. They're not really telling us their actions other than they want to impress you. They want to be seen and heard by you and impress you. They're confused about what to do. They've not got it organized in their head yet. Exactly what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. They're also a little bit worried that they might make a fool of herself and that you might not want to hear what they have to say. 
boo, three of pentacles, they definitely want your recognition, though, and they want to be validated of you find, you are seeing them, that you find them worthwhile, interesting, something. They want recognition of something, but it's also showing their desire of they would like to build something more with you. The fact we got page of pentacles and three of pentacles teamwork, blueprint, but do you find me worthy? Do you find anything about me interesting? Am I impressing you at all? Because you've impressed the hell out of me. Do you, are we getting it? Hopefully you're getting it. What I'm saying, this person needs you to acknowledge that you see them. Uh, that you find them interesting. And that you would want to hear what they have to say. And you would want to hear their opinions about things. Uh -huh. Is there anything else on actions that you can bring out? The world card, they want to definitely move up, move in, into a different kind of, or graduate. I want to say graduate into a different level of a kind of relationship with you, something more. But they need to know, they need to hear you say or acknowledge them somehow of you're, you're interested in that yourself. When everything is said and done, let's find your thoughts and feelings towards this person. Let's get your thoughts and feelings. Oh, Ten of Wands. Hang on to that. We're going to clarify it. Keep going. Keep going, Spirit. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Strength card. You got a better understanding. A better understanding of, some, of someone. You feel very, uh, how do I put it? brave <laughs> you're not intimidated at all by this person or the thought of the connection but this is showing that tough cycle ending what is that ten of wands yeah you're just needing some time space i don't know how else to put it it shows you've been under a heavy load dealing with something and you feel like you need to rest privacy clarity clarity uh heal a rest in the battle uh, so you might, yeah, let's keep going here for a minute because I'm, it's showing you going more inward and private away from the world for a minute. Emperor energy, yeah, you're trying to get yourself pulled together uh -huh, and being a little bit protective over your energies. So, I mean, I, hopefully it won't hurt this person's feelings because it's showing you, uh, I'm just, I'm not into... Let me, let me coo and ah all over you and that kind of thing. I'm just not into playing with a puppy right now. I want to, what? Take a rest. Be by myself. That kind of thing. Get my clarity on things. Bottom of the deck is we're thinking about the future. Focused in on the future. For ourselves. And Five of Swords, we are rebuilding ourselves back after a difficult time. Also, uh, also get, regaining our own confidence. Mm -hmm. What else? Ooh, headed towards the future, getting the clarity we need. And yeah, Gemini Knight of Swords. We're definitely observing, thinking. Think of her hermit mode, Pisces. It seems to be more of a hermit mode that we're going into. Uh, as much as I hate saying it because I kept saying the person wants to impress you, you're, you're impressed a little bit, but not enthused impressed. Because something, something about your energy is I'm tired. I'm tired. And, you know, I don't, I don't need to deal with this right now. I don't need this energy to deal with right now. Is there anything else for my Pisces by the end of the week? Page of Cups, you might feel a little bit vulnerable on an emotional level. They may have pleaked your pleat. Is that a word, y'all? Pleat, pleat. Uh, ignited a little bit of curiosity about them because this is have, bringing us into the bubble, a little bit of a bubbly feeling of love. <laughs> Romance, I might, but I need a break first. <laughs> what, would, what would you be saying? What would... What, Bring it to me. Ah, oh, call, call me sometime next week. Mate, mate, wait, wait, wait. I'll call you. I'll call you. It'll be next week. It's that kind of thing. We're putting them off. 
putting them off. Yes. I want to see this. Um, we're going to use Best of Both Oracles deck. Hopefully, I've got their link. I'll try to remember get their link in the description box. Not just for their Etsy shop, but for their channel. They also read cards. Really good readers over there, guys. We're using their deck. Let me help you understand. Mm -hmm. Because I want to ask Spirit, <laughs> your higher self, to bring forward some of the past thoughts and feelings you've had about this person. Yeah, what's the aftertaste they have left in your mouth later? <laughs> From the past. Let's see where it's going and how it may differ. Or may not differ. Have they made an impression on you? That would be interesting to see. It's from a Pisces. Bring it out. Oh, pop. We've got something. Let me help you understand. <laughs> You're mine, and you know it. Stop playing around and let me love you. Ooh. The love is genuine, but you or your person may be impatient, possessive, <laughs> Or a tad immature. immature. So, yeah, guys, we've got feelings for the person. Mm -hmm. But we'd be like, yeah, not this week, though. Mm -mm. Not saying never. I just need a look on the bottom, guys. <laughs> not now. Not saying not ever. Just not now. Okay. Give me a break. <laughs> Pisces, guys, I hope y'all actually do get a break <laughs> and that the person will understand because the Ten of Wands felt heavy, heavy for some reason. Uh -huh. Let's come back to their energy, <laughs> guys. I love this one. <laughs> okay, come up to their energy by the end of the week. How has their energy shifted after they have gotten done dealing with my Pisces and influenced by my Pisces. We've got something out. Yes, we do. Uh-oh, we got two things out. They feel like they're going to be running out of time, mm -hmm. getting on your nerves. But for some reason, there's a, the urgency, the impatience. They feel like they're running out of time and they feel like they're getting on your nerves. Because <laughs> you'd be like, no, no, no. Exit the stage. This is my stage. Either you get off my stage or I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, please. Guys, <laughs> yeah. Look. This. And this. It's not changed. <laughs> this, per yeah. This person is like for real. They feel like they're running out of time. They're ruining things. They're getting on your nerves. They don't know what to do. Or how to impress you. Yeah. Okay. It'll be okay. Come back on to your higher self real quick before we get messages. Let's get your higher self, your spirit guides, and your guardians to remind, uh, not remind you, not remind. Let's get the words right. To bring out anything for you that would be helpful for you to keep in mind this week when it comes to this person. Anything that would be helpful for, yes, we got something on the bottom, but I want the full shuffle courting this period of development towards a romantic relationship is important this time I will this time will help you both see if marriage is in the cards courting courting I'm gonna take this one and this one also safe place. There's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you are protected by your partner's love. Oh, yes. Are they willing to give you the space you need when you say, back off, leave me alone. I'm tired. Explore also. Take a ride and explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts. Explore. Sound good to me. But Pisces, this week you'd be like, nope, I don't want nobody on that motorcycle with me. I'm going by myself. <laughs> yes. Let's see if they want to give you a, a brief message. Let's see if we get their energy onto you. And we did. And we getting the roses. Okay. It's the light side of the day. Yes. 
I'm a Pisces person. Let me focus for a minute. Pisces. Who did I go on? Okay. Brief message. Whatever you want to say. Bring it out. Bring it out. I can't I can't think straight around you. <laughs> I just want to see you smiling with true happiness. I don't want to get on your nerves. <laughs> my friends say that I focus too much on you. And I'm hearing what I think my friends are crazy as hell. <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. I can't stand not being there with you. Pisces. And I'm worried there is someone else. Why there is someone else? There's so much I want to say to you, but I always back out because I think I get on your nerves. Oh, Pisces, guys. I hope it was helpful. I'm sending y'all love and light. Have a blessed and beautiful week, guys. Bless be.